Hi everyone, I'm Jean from extrapetite.com. Welcome back. Today's video is a continuation from a previous video that I did reviewing the classic flat purse from Chanel. So please visit that video if you're interested. Today I really just want to share my experiences and the various places where I've purchased my bags from and some tips on how you can save off of the current retail price. So I try to save a little bit with everything I buy, but with that being said, I want to manage your expectations as to really how much you can save. So if I'm buying pre-owned, I would expect to save maybe 30 to 40% off of current retail, and that discount will really be more or less depending on the condition of the bag. If you're buying new from online, and there are resellers who really just buy these bags and hold them for when the price goes up, if you're buying new from a reseller, you can expect to save a little bit less, maybe 10 to 15%. And I've seen that colored bags go for a little bit more than their black counterparts because black is just a more ubiquitous color. So I've gone ahead and I've listed out the current retail prices for these bags on my blog. And it's just good to be informed of the current prices before you start shopping online. So from my personal experience, the first Chanel bag I bought was from Craigslist. So before you guys laugh or go running to look on Craigslist, I will say that I'm not recommending that to anyone as a solid option. I would say that maybe 99% or more of the designer items on Craigslist are not authentic. But there are rare gems where you can find an authentic bag at a fair price. So the good thing about Craigslist is that you can See the bag in person and inspect it in front of you before handing over your cash. But the downside to that is that you have to meet up with a stranger and Craigslist is creepy. You hear these horror stories of people who meet up with someone to buy a cell phone and then get murdered. So please girls, I'm not recommending this as an option. It's just the route that I went personally a few years back after doing a lot of research on what is counterfeit versus authentic and the timing was just right. My second Chanel purchase, this bag, is from an online reseller. This woman has a store on both eBay and Bonanza. Bonanza is just like eBay except their listings are more fixed price versus auctions. I don't think they have any auctions. But even though it's fixed price, you can email the seller and bargain a little bit. But with online marketplaces like eBay and Bonanza, where individual sellers list up their items, it's really important to make sure that the item in the pictures really belongs to that seller. So it's been kind of a problem lately where some sellers will steal photos from other people, even bloggers. I've had my blog photos stolen for eBay listings. So one thing that I tend to do, I'm really a pain in the butt when I'm buying on eBay to these sellers because I will ask them for a picture of them pointing to like a certain detail. You can just ask for anything extra that you want to see and if the seller doesn't get back to you then it's really not worth taking that risk. Another thing you want to pay attention to when buy online is the method of payment. PayPal really has become the most trusted method and a few years ago I had an experience where I bought something that turned out to be counterfeit and PayPal refunded my money at the expense of the buyer and they're usually very good about that when authenticity is in question. When you're buying online, please don't send money via money order, check, Western Union, or wire transfer. Those are like the holy grail methods of payment for counterfeiters. So please use a secure method of payment like PayPal. My last Chanel shopping experience was directly from the store itself. I got this bag from the Chanel boutique inside Bloomingdale's and these department stores will usually exclude Chanel from all sales, all coupons and their friends and family discounts but one way to get around that is if they have a credit card program. So I know that Bloomingdale's as well as Saks Fifth Avenue and maybe other stores as well, if you open up their store credit card they will give you a small discount off of your entire purchase for the first day. No brands excluded which is pretty neat. So this credit card promotional discount is usually pretty small, like 10%, but Bloomingdale's is known for having 20% twice a year. So earlier this year, it was around February, these bags tend to go very fast during that time. So I went in 
two weeks before the sale and pre-sold this bag. And then I got it with a Bloomingdale's credit card for 20% off. So that last option is good if you really prefer to buy new directly from the store. Chanel is one of the few things that I would personally prefer to check out what's available pre-owned before I even consider it new. That's because of the decent savings you can get and also a pre-owned bag in great condition is really a testament to the quality of the item and the quality of the brand. In summary, if you guys are looking to buy pre-owned, I would recommend a few things. First of all, do your research and set some guidelines as to exactly what you want and that way you don't get distracted by all the options out there when you start browsing. Second, really, really, really become an authenticity expert. I'm going to link to some websites and resources in my blog post because you should really be familiar with what identifies a counterfeit bag from an authentic one. And third, be patient for the right bag to come along online. If you become crazy about it or if you want to buy in a rush, there's a greater chance that you might overpay for a bag that isn't exactly what you want. That's all I have for you guys today. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out to me. I respond a little bit faster via Facebook or Twitter, so don't be afraid to shoot me a message. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.